Minus K technology has been around for 30 years now. You can apply these isolators to many different types of fields, many different types of applications. And uh, we uh, have a very good reputation in the industry. We really pride ourselves on doing things quickly in our customer service. We have great word of mouth, many, many happy customers, and we, want, we aim to keep it that way. Our isolators are uh, half hertz, totally passive isolators. They use no air or electricity. They outperform air tables by 10 to 100 times and also outperform active systems. And they're also unique in that they only use springs and flexors inside. The isolators are very easy to set up. These actually have less adjustments. There's only leveling feet to worry about, a load adjust, and a stiffness adjust. And once you have the stiffness adjust set up after initial setup, you rarely have to touch it. So it literally takes just a few minutes to set up initially. Thereafter, if you change things, change the configuration, it's just a matter of seconds to make small adjustments as necessary. People use these a lot for things like atomic force microscopes, interferometers, micro hardness testers, uh, electron microscopes, really big instruments, really small instruments. We've done things as small as several ounces up to several thousand pounds. For example, we did the test isolation for the James Webb Space Telescope. That was a 60,000 pound structure. So this is our transmissibility curve. This kind of explains how isolators work. Everything above the line of one is amplified. Everything below the line of one is attenuated. And this is the frequency spectrum. So our isolators have a half hertz resonant frequency. You can see our peak there. That's where our, our isolators will amplify. If so, if you're sitting on something that's moving a half a hertz, ours will make it move more. Luckily, buildings typically don't move at half hertz. But the reason we want to have it have that low is because air isolators tend to have a resonant frequency of around two, three hertz. Typically, some are lower, some are higher. But what we do with our half hertz, we start removing vibration before they even start amplifying. So consequently, we can really reduce problems that typically occur within buildings around one to 10 hertz. We can really knock that down. So we're between 100 down to 10 times higher performance than typical air systems. Active systems try to emulate what we're doing. We just let physics do it. Consequently, we can actually outperform them for a couple other reasons as well, but they can't typically get down to the level of attenuation that we do. And so that gives us a distinct advantage there. Once you get down to the about five hertz or so, we're down minus 40 dB or about a factor of 100. And so that really allows us to provide way better performance and solve problems that other people simply cannot. If our isolators can't solve your problem, you're kind of out of luck, uh, especially for low frequency building vibrations. If you're having a problem one or two or three hertz, and this is a problem for people that have, say, an electron microscope, but they don't have any option besides going on the fifth, sixth floor of a building, and they can't have the option of going into a basement. The microscope manufacturers won't guarantee the noise floor. That's where we come in and we can solve the problem. This is our CM1 isolator. This one can be configured for up to a thousand pounds per isolator. So it makes it ideal for use in multi-isolator systems. If you have a very heavy breadboard, so you have a, a optical table that has air legs that aren't giving you enough performance, you can replace them with these and you'll get much better performance. This is one of our oldest isolators. This is the BM4. It offers our classic signature half hertz performance vertically and horizontally. It's very easy to use, very easy to set up. We have many of these in the field. People love them for things like atomic force microscopy. This is our BM-10. This is just simply a smaller form factor, has a half hertz vertical and one and a half hertz horizontal. This is ideal for someone that wants a really compact isolation system that doesn't have a lot of space or has a smaller instrument, but really wants the high performance. This is our newest CT-2. This one is 18 inches wide, 20 inches deep, and only two and a half inches tall. And we got that with some special patented internal parts that allow us to get the resonant frequencies that we want. Uh, this is very popular for things like uh, larger micro microscopes and so forth. And believe it or not, high-end audiophiles also enjoy these sort of products. This is an LC4. This is a small one that's also designed kind of primarily for smaller multi-isolator systems. They're very small laterally, and about eight, eight inches tall, so they can be combined in either one, two, three, or four systems together to make it work. This one is basically a vacuum compatible unit. All of our isolators, a lot of people don't know this, can be made vacuum compatible. We just have to remove some of the powder coating, use special materials, vacuum compatible greases, 
and anything else that the customer may need to have specially done for their instruments. Everyone has their own requirements. But uh, that is something that we can do quite easily. And that's possible because there's no air and there's no electricity. So you have no exhaust to worry about. We don't generate any particles. And uh, there's no heating to worry about because there's no electronics dissipating heat. So this is an isolator that's gonna be coming up quite soon. This is a CT-10. It's related to this one. It's basically fundamentally the same idea in this, except we just made it a bit smaller laterally. It's 12 by 12 by two and a half inches tall. So we're really going again after the same sort of crowd that wants a small compact isolator. They both have the half hertz vertical, one and a half hertz horizontal, but the lower form factor, the lower height is really attractive to some people.